Hi guys and welcome to my video on how to set up classic settings on AutoCAD 2019. Okay, let's start by opening a new AutoCAD page. Whichever page you prefer, it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. And let's take a look at the desktop layouts that are set up already in AutoCAD 2019. As you can see, there are three different layouts. We have drafting and annotation, 3D basics, and 3D modeling. One of the main advantages of AutoCAD Classic is that all three of these setups will actually be included to the one because you can customize it to your own personal preference. So the first thing we will do, we will enter start mode and change it from 1 to 0. Next we'll take a look at the options. In this section there is three options which we will want to turn off. The first being show tooltips, the second show rollover tooltips and the third is display file types. All three of these can be turned off. Turning the 3Ds off will stop the description panel from popping up every time the cursor is overnight. Next thing we'll do, we will turn off the ribbon. The ribbon is the display at the top of the screen which displays all the icons. In order to do this, just type ribbon close. Now it's time to open the menu bar. You can do this with the arrow at the top of the screen as shown. Click on the arrow, a drop down menu will appear and go right down to the bottom of the menu and click on show menu bar. This will bring up the menu bar at the top of the screen. Now we can start opening our toolbars. In order to open the toolbars, we will have to type minus toolbar. If you type toolbar, the following menu will pop up, which is the wrong menu. So you have to type minus toolbar. Next, type draw, which is the name of one of the toolbars, and type S or click on show. And the toolbar will pop up to the left hand side of the screen. You can now drag this toolbar to the center of the screen by gripping it at the top edge of the toolbar. Right click on the toolbar. This will bring up a list of all available toolbars for AutoCAD 2019. Whichever toolbars you open, it's probably best to keep them in the center of the screen until you have all your toolbars open. That way you can lay them out to the most effective way to use them for your style of drawing. I will proceed to open the toolbars which I most commonly use. Feel free to open different toolbars and get a feel for what each toolbar can actually do within AutoCAD. The ones which I will open personally are the ones I use the most which I feel are probably the most common toolbars to be used in AutoCAD. The toolbars that I open will be generally used for a combination of both 3D CAD and 2D CAD.
two bars can be placed either left, right or top of the screen. Depending on the resolution of your screen, it can be sometimes difficult to make out what the icons are. Especially on my screen, which is 25, 60 by 1440. Due to the resolution, sometimes it's hard to see what the icons actually are. So there is actually a way around this in AutoCAD, which you can basically make the icons a lot bigger. And I'm going to proceed to show you how to do that now. Firstly type options, go to the display tab and the second option from the top use large buttons for two rows. It will increase the size of the icons on your desktop. Having done this, sometimes it's not possible to see all the icons on screen. So in this case you would have to drag the toolbar into the center of the screen and you will be able to get access to the hidden icons. So that's nearly it, all that's left to do now is just to save the workspace. And you can do this by just clicking on the cogwheel down the bottom of the right hand side of the screen, click on save current as and give it a name. Okay guys, that's basically it for the video. If you have any questions or requests, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments down below and I will get back. This is my first video and I'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. So take care guys and see you next time.